So this is a very brief tutorial to explain the problem with IK popping with walk cycles and how to solve the problem. So this is a really simple um, walk cycle with Monty, but you can see if as you watch the cycle that the knees are kind of popping there. You get this, this annoying IK pop and it's when the leg there is completely straightening out and then if you look at the other leg it's kind of it's it's totally extending there and then it just kind of pops like that so you get that this annoying kind of click and the way to solve this problem of knee popping is by making sure that the leg never completely extends so we just gonna what we want to do is make sure that on the contact positions like at frame one here that this this leg is not fully extended it's just almost bent and then at the other contact position here, the left foot contact, again, we don't, want, we don't want that leg to be fully extended. We want it to be just very slightly bent. Now, the simplest way to solve this problem is to go to the um, translate Y control on the main mover and just move Monty down a little bit so that that foot is just slightly relaxed. So there we go. So something like that. So it's just slight. Whoops, I've moved it. Uh, let me just select that and just pull him down. There we go. So there's just a little bit of a bend. Now we're going to need to do that at frame one as well. And so we can select frame one. Now if we do that with frame one, we've also got to do it with frame 17. So I'm going to select both of them at the same time because it's a cycle, which means it's got to be the same at the beginning and the end. So again, W for move. And then I'm just, oops, just going to move that down. So it's just slightly bent like that there we go um oh I didn't move for that one so there we go it's gonna relax it up a tiny bit there we go okay and now we should avoid getting that popping now I can still see there's a tiny bit on this right leg yeah I can see slightly there in in frame 31 so we can actually add another keyframe there we can just pull that foot up slightly whoops and then just make sure that that leg doesn't it's still doing it slightly there. there's usually quite a lot of kind of fiddling around with this just to get it right but the basic idea is you just want to you just want to stop that popping happening and I think I've actually got I also want to make sure that it's exact the foot is exactly the same at the front and the end and I just want to make sure that those curves are smooth as well so it's usually a question of kind of tidying that up um, and making sure that you've not got any kind of annoying popping going on on those knees another thing you want to do is make sure that the um, pole vectors on the walk cycle don't fall behind the knee because what you can what sometimes happens is if these pole vectors go behind the knee like that then you'll get really nasty annoying results so you always want to make sure that those are spread out in front of the um, of the knee joint so that's what people mean when they talk about um, IK popping or knee popping on a walk cycle and it's something that animation supervisors will look out for they want to know that you've been able to fix that so that when you show a walk cycle uh, you don't have any annoying IK pops on the on the knees